Hey y'all, what's up? So, um, finally, the long-awaited makeup basket item video. I've um, got some new products to show you guys as I picked up a few new things. Um, if you want, I can do a haul on what I picked up. And um, let me know if you want to see it. So, for the palette that I'm using this week, it's going to be my Naked palette, my original Naked palette. Um, I'm wearing Sin on my eyes today, and I really just want to focus on hitting that color. Because Sin is a color that I, I don't know, I've never really been too interested in it, but I'm liking the way it looks. Um, for my foundation, I'm going to be using my Naked Skin, and this is in 8.0. And this is super light, and this is winter time, and it's still light for me. So I want to see if I can get a good chunk of this used up. And before I put this down, I used my Clinique Pore Refining Solutions. Oop, can't see it. There it is. Clinique Pore Refining Solutions. And it's just like a moisturizer or a serum you put on and then it's supposed to like help your skin to produce less oil the longer that you use it. So I'm trying to use that every day and see if it really helps my skin. I was using it before but I kind of got off track with it. And then once that's down, I go in with my Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. This is a base mattifier. This is a new product um, that I picked up, but it is really good at controlling oil. So um, this is like my primer. I'm um, still using this, my little travel size of the Urban Decay uh, Primer Potion for my eyes. And... Once I have my foundation down, then I go in with my concealer, which is the MAC Pro Longwear. I don't even know where this is at, you guys. It's been sitting up for a long time, but I have no idea how much is in there. I really can't tell. I don't know. So once that's done, um, what am I setting my face with? And I got some new stuff I pulled out. So this is something I haven't used in a really long time. It is the Ruby Kisses HD Set and Forget Setting Powder. Okay. And it's, this one is in the color Earth. And it's like this orange golden color. See? So I put it underneath my eyes. Um today and we will see how how it sets i'll probably take some flash photography pictures and see what happens for the rest of my face i'm using my mac msf natural and this one is in dark i think i should use like medium deep or medium dark whatever it is but this one is in dark and it's just a little a little orangey for my skin so yeah there's that um for my contour I'm using because I got pretty sharp contour going on and that's because I got a new brush this is the multitasker contour brush number 55 from Sephora and this is what the brush looks like and it's like angled you see that and I just took it I took the flat side and I pushed it right into that area. And then I just took a more dense brush and it just lightly buffed on the top to buff it out. So that it left the bottom kind of sharp and then it blended in with my um, blush. But the powder that I used was Max Blunt. This is Max Blunt. It's a blush, um, a matte blush, but it's, it's a contour powder. And it's super, super dark. So, um, yeah. Max Blunt. My blush is the Laura Geller. And this one is in Apricot Berry. Really, really pretty. Just a little tiny thing, but these last forever. And my brow products. Let's talk about that. I am trying out something new. Okay. I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. It looked like a gel liner. I think you guys have all seen this. Just got it. Um, 
Took me quite a while to get my brows done today, but I don't know what I'm doing, so. And I brought the brush that goes with it. This is the number 12 brush. It's really, really thin. You see that? Like paper thin. And it's got a little spoolie. But it did help me to get it on there just right. My liner that you're seeing under here um, is the L'Oreal Silk Kiss Me Eyeliner in Black. And this is, who just my favorite liner. Like I want all the colors in this. And I know I'm going to use it up. I'm not even going to go buy anymore until I use this up. But it goes quickly. It's super smooth. I mean, no tugging or nothing. You know, and I set it with um, Creep from the Naked Palette just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. To clean up under my brows, I'm using the Balani Brow Highlighter, just this side over here in vanilla. And what you're seeing on my cheeks underneath the Laura Geller blush is the NARS blush that I've been trying to use. And this is a highlighter that I got in an Ipsy bag and I don't know who it's from or who, any of that, but that's the highlighter that you're seeing here on my cheeks. So yeah, um, I think that that's everything you guys. I'm still using this palette too for my brow color and my inner corner. <coughs> but other than that, that is everything. I do wanna do a look sometime soon um, using this glitter. I got this glitter from Lit Cosmetics. It's called Champagne Wishes. And it is freaking gorgeous. You guys see that? Ugh, oh, so beautiful. Anyway, I think that's, um, I think this is what I'm gonna wear for my wedding look. Um, I will link below, try to link below the video that I'm gonna copy off of because my wedding makeup is totally gonna be copied. Sorry, but it is. <laughs> and um, she did an amazing look and it's a girl that's been here on YouTube for a long time. Her name is X Sparkage. And I just loved it. As soon as I saw it, I was like, that's it. So she used that same exact glitter. I went and I purchased it. And yeah, um, it's just a really look like I, I would normally do. Just a little bit deeper in color on the outer corner. And then the glitter just bumps it up. So that is it. Oh, I wanted to show y'all um, happy St. Patty's Day because I got to put my little hat on. I love St. Patty's Day. And uh, I got, got my shirt. And I even got socks, y'all. I don't know if I'm going to put my earrings on, but I got some earrings up there. So, yeah. Happy St. Patty's Day. I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Deuces.